That is one fun shooting pistol. What's up guys, welcome back. So it's been a while since we posted a video. I was out of town training with work, and then when I got home, I ended up getting the flu. So I apologize, we haven't posted in a while, but we are gonna start doing something a little new on the channel. If you've been around, you know, we basically focus on my truck builds, 22 Tundra TRD Pro behind me, and also our, our boat um, that we have over here to my left. I figure a lot of my viewers are most likely outdoorsmen or women, and you may be into firearms and shooting and things like that. I absolutely love just to go target practice shooting, um, and I also carry for protection. So we're gonna start doing some of that on the channel here as well as the truck and boat videos. Today, what we're gonna be doing is taking a first look at the brand new Micro 9 by Canik. It's the Canik Meta MC9. Now, this pistol's been out for a little bit now, but in the grand scheme of things, it's relatively new to the market. We're gonna get it out of the box, give you a look at everything it comes with, and then, as you saw in the opening clip, we're heading to the range to shoot this thing for the very first time. Let's, take, let's get it out of the box and take a closer look. So the pistol comes in a nice hard shell case. It is lockable. You can see the two holes right there. Slide the tabs over, open it up. And one thing you have to give um, Canik credit for, whether you like their firearms or not, is they are not shy with what you get with your purchase. Tons of value for the money. So we'll go ahead and take this top cover off. When you first get it, there's gonna be some paperwork on the back there. I've already removed it just to get it out of the way and save a few seconds on the video. You're gonna get your weapon itself, but before we get into that, let's show you everything else that you get. So up top here, you're gonna get your punch. So that's gonna be used for a couple different things, which I'll show you on the, on the firearm. You get your bore brush, you get your swab, or your, your rod to put swabs on the top and run down the barrel when you're cleaning. You get some different back straps over here, which I'll show you what they are. And then this little thing, this is pretty neat. And this just goes to show you their attention to detail. And sometimes it's just the little things that, you know, that, that kind of make it. So um, looks like a nice little compact MC9. You think it's just a toy, but it's actually a tool holder. If you slide that bottom part off, you can see you get a bunch of tools in there that you, you may need for different reasons with the firearm. You get some extra bolts. There's actually a couple small washers in there that you may be able to see. And the other cool thing about it is then the pistol itself, or the, the small one itself, that red part on the front, that's actually your tool holder. So you can use it as a screwdriver, you know, if you're in the field or whatever, if you need to do anything with the firearm. So that's pretty cool. You gotta give Canon credit there. It's kind of neat, just something small like that pretty nifty and then when you're all done just pop everything back in there slide the cap back on and you're ready to rock now coming down here to the lower half of the box let's go ahead and take the firearm out you can see completely unloaded magazine is empty nothing in the chamber all right just want to show you that i'm going to pop the mag back in just so you can get a look at the total package we'll set that aside real quick and just go over everything else first then we'll get back to the uh the pistol itself Comes with an IWB inside the waistband holster. I've had this on, not the best holster out there. I've actually already ordered a different one to carry, but if you're gonna carry in the front or appendix carry, this actually wasn't that bad for that reason. Um, if you're carrying on your hip, this just ain't gonna do it for you. At least it didn't for me um, when I was testing it out and trying it out, but it does come with it if you, cho if you choose to use it. If I was gonna appendix carry at all times, I'm not gonna lie, I, I may actually use that. It wasn't terrible. So you're also gonna get, I've already kinda showed you real quick here. You're gonna get a 12 round magazine and a 15 round magazine. So the, the weapon is a 12 plus one or a 15 plus one, whichever magazine you choose to carry. Um, the only thing I noticed when I took this out and just kinda started getting a feel for it, the magazine with it being such a compact pistol, which is what I wanted, you can see I have decent sized hands, not massive, but not small by any means. Just, you know, a little bit bigger than average size hands. My pinky hangs off the bottom there. Now it's not uncomfortable. I still love the way that the, the MC9 feels in my hand. I can't wait to shoot it. But to fix that, Canik included this piece right here. So what you can do is, it's a base plate for the 12 round magazine. You can slide this bottom base plate off and I'll show you how to do it real quick, super easy pop that on there and that way when that's on there your pinky has a place to rest so actually before we do anything further let's just go ahead and do that i'll show you how to swap them out so you're just going to take your included punch or anything really you see the, the button right there on the bottom of the magazine all you're going to do is push that in and slide the base plate forward 
Now that's gonna be under a lot of spring tension, so just be very careful. Make sure it's pointing away from your face. You might even wanna wear you know, some kind of goggles or something for this. But you can see if you push that tab down and slide the base plate forward, it'll slide right off. And again, that's under a lot of spring tension you can see there, so just be very careful. Now you can take your new base plate, the one with the pinky rest, and there's grooves, you can't really mess it up. And we're just gonna go ahead and slide that on there. And you can see the button pops in place, it's locked on there. Now when we put it in the MC9, now you can see my pinky rests on there perfectly. It's a little bit more comfortable for sure. I think this is the setup I'm gonna run um, and it just feels, feels good in your hand. Nice and compact, perfect, perfect spot for your pinky. It also comes with a lock. There's actually a different lock that comes on the weapon itself, the, uh, the trigger lock. I have that set aside, but it, that's just a little spot you can put it. And then the last thing is your speed loader. I'll show you how to use this real quick if you're not familiar. Saves your fingers and makes it super easy and pretty quick to load up your magazines, whether you're at the range or whatever the case may be. Nice little touch for them to add that as well. Now that you saw what's in the box, let's go over some specs and head to the range to shoot this for the first time. So we chose to go with the two-tone version. It does come in different color options. We have the FDE or flat dark earth frame. It's a polymer frame with the black slide. In my opinion, the best looking one. That's all personal preference, of course, but I absolutely love this two-tone, the, the look of it. 3.18 inch barrel with a 6.1 inch overall length, 4.52 inches in height and 1.12 inches in width. So I can't stress that enough. Just a very, very compact weapon, super lightweight. You could carry this on your waist all day and not even know it's there. Um, it's just a very comfortable pistol to have on you at all times. As far as sights go, you have out of the box, you have a white dot on the front, blacked out in the back. This does come optics ready. We are gonna be putting a red dot on here. We actually already have it ordered. It's supposed to be delivered on Monday. So stay tuned for that. I'll go over that with you, show you how to mount it. Super easy to do. And of course, we'll do a review on that red dot as well. Um, so optics ready right out of the box. It does have an ambidextrous slide stop or slide release, this black bar right here. So you can see on both sides, whether you're righty or lefty, your slide release is right there for you, making it easy to use no matter how you shoot. The mag release right here, it's on this side out of the box, but you can swap it to the other side if you wanted to. Easier for lefties if you wanted to do it, it's not that hard to do. Um, as far as the magazines go, I've already showed you the 12 plus one and the 15 plus one, very smooth operating. Both of them uh, pop right out, no issues there at all. So you can see um, they, they work nice and easy. One of my other favorite things about this, and this is going to be user preference as well, I love the fact that they included a Picatinny rail on the front of this pistol. Now, with that being said, I'm not so sure that I'm actually going to mount anything on the front just yet. Part of the reason for me getting this is I wanted something super lightweight, super compact, easy to carry. We're already going to be putting the red dot on top, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to mount anything down here as far as a light or anything like that but it's awesome that they have it built into the pistol in case you want to mount something. It just gives you a lot of options of what you can do with this thing right out of the box. So yeah, absolutely love that they included that Picatinny on the front there. The frame on this thing, love the grips. When I was looking at, when I was watching reviews on this, some people were saying that, you know, they wish they brought the textured part up higher on the frame. I completely disagree. When I hold this thing, I absolutely love the feel of it. Um, it's a very, it's an aggressive grip, but not like over the top aggressive, just gives you a nice tactile feel. And I like the fact that they didn't go all the way up. It's just the way it fits in my hand, I, it's just, to me, it's perfect. Um, again, it's kind of an aggressive grip, but not over the top or anything like that. So I, I love the grip on this thing. Very comfortable to hold, nice tactile feel to it. Now, as far as the safety goes, it does have the red part right there in front of the trigger that you can see. That is your trigger safety. If you try to fire this weapon without having your finger over that red part, you can see nothing is gonna happen. You can't, you can't fire it. Um, in order to shoot the pistol, you have to have your finger over that red part, push that part in first, which obviously when you're pulling the trigger, that's just gonna happen naturally. You're gonna have some play, which you always do. Mechanics are known for that as well. You're gonna hit a wall, nice clean break, okay? 
So love the, love the triggers on these things as well. You also have a striker indicator on the back. Um, so if you look at that red pin right there, you can see, hopefully, maybe I'll put a picture on the screen too. That tells you that the pistol is cocked and ready to shoot. If there was one in the chamber, there's also a little bump right there that would slightly raise as well. Again, just another indicator for you telling you that there's a round in the chamber. And then if you see that red pin there, you know that it's cocked and ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna kind of point this in a safe direction even though we know it's empty. You can watch when I pull the trigger, if you watch that red dot right there, that goes in and now you know the, the weapon is not cocked. Okay, so just something to, uh, you know, never trust those things, obviously, you know, on their own, but they're just two different indicators telling you if there's one in the chamber and if the weapon is cocked and ready to, ready to rock. A couple last things to show you. To swap out the back plate here, you can see it does come with these two extras. So you have a small, medium, and large. Very easy to do. All you do is take that punch, pop it through that hole. There's a little pin inside there. You probably can't see it, but you just pop it straight through. You can see there's a hole on the other side. So push it through either way, it doesn't really matter. That pin will pop out and then you can swap out the back plate to whichever one fits your hand best. I personally, even though I have bigger hands, I actually have the small on there. And again, it just feels really good in the hand. And lastly, the easy loader that it comes with. So very simple to use this. All you do, again, you can see nothing in the magazine. We have the 12 rounder here in my hand. All you're gonna do is pop the easy loader over it, push down, take a round, Seat it all the way back until you can't go back anymore. Lift the speed loader up and then finish pushing the round backwards. Just saves your fingers, makes it so much easier to use um, or load these magazines, whether you're at the range or whatever the case may be. So again, I'll show you one more time slower. Just push down, take a round, push it in, lift up the speed loader, push it back. Okay, And as you can see, seats the rounds perfectly. And again, they call sometimes they call these speed loaders because you can see how fast you could actually load these magazines. Um, we, we could probably get this 12 rounder loaded in, I don't even know, 30, 45 seconds maybe, tops, 15 loader, we could easily do one under, the 15 round magazine, um, we could easily do one under a minute. So, and again, it just kind of saves your thumb. So instead of having to push down on that spring tension with your fingers, you're using this easy loader. And just like that, we have the 12 rounder loaded to the max and ready to rock. Here we go, first rounds through the brand new Meta MC9. Now we do have a six round limit in our magazines here at our shooting range. So there's only gonna be six in each one of my mags. Um, obviously we have to follow the rules and regulations. Just so you know what we're gonna be shooting today, we're gonna be shooting the Fiocchi, 115 grain, just range rounds, you know, on the cheaper side. This is usually what I do when I'm messing around, just shooting for fun. And then we're also gonna see how it does with some carry ammo or defense ammo. We have some nine millimeter plus P 50 grain civil defense from Liberty. And we also have some of the fan favorites, the uh, federal HST 124 grain. This is probably what I'm gonna end up carrying for the most part, um, but we're gonna put both through the gun just to see how they fire. Let's start out with a few hundred, uh, a couple hundred range rounds, and then we'll swap over to these, get this thing broken in. And real quick, since there's nobody else at the range here, I don't know if you can see it, but now that there's one in the chamber, I mentioned that little bar that sticks up just a little bit. That's the indicator right there. All right, let's go hot. So far so good, no hangups or anything, and definitely getting a better feel for the sights. I'll put a picture on the screen. The last uh, four shots basically 
you know a pretty good grouping there um, and I am when you're looking at that picture I am shooting at different you know sides but the last the last four I shot were aiming right for the middle target and as you can see in the picture pretty good grouping all right, guys, so far we have put 250 rounds of the Fiocchi 9mm 115 grain through the firearm. No issues. Absolutely loving the way this is shooting. My son's having a blast. So now we're going to switch over to the Federal HST and also the uh, Civil um, Defense by Liberty. All right, we're going to go ahead and see how these things cycle through the weapon. All right, first up, 50 grain Civil Defense by Liberty. And this is a plus P ammo. No issues, cycle perfectly. All right, next up, Junior's gonna be shooting the Federal HST, 124 grain, hollow point. on there, holding it tight, thumb down, alright. Alright, so as you saw, the Federal HST did not go as smoothly. We're going to load up another six and see what happens there. Okay, no issues with those six. We'll keep an eye on that because the HST is what I plan on carrying, um, but we're gonna put a few more through and uh, make sure that kind of just a fluke, we'll see what happens. All right, another six of the HST in the mag. I'm gonna let Junior here take over. Let's see what happens. So pretty smooth there, just for whatever reason, one didn't go off. Um, we're going to go ahead and reload with some more of the Civil Defense um, by Liberty and see what happens there. I'm going to put another six of those in and see what happens. All right, so far it seems to be like in the civil defense a little bit better. Um, that's 12 rounds, smooth as can be. We're gonna go ahead and finish off these boxes and then we'll wrap the video up with my final thoughts. So here we are back at the house. The MC9 is cleaned up, lubricated, ready to go for next time. What are my initial thoughts after having it at the range for the first time? Well, we ended up putting a total of 330 rounds through this thing today. The 250 range rounds that I showed you, and then also 80 total defense rounds. We did 40 of the civil, um, civil defense by Liberty, and then 40 of the 124 grain HSTs. The only issues we had, which you saw on video, were the HSTs. A little disappointing because that's what I planned on carrying, but we're not gonna give up on them quite yet. After going back and reviewing the footage, at the time at the range, I was a little more focused on my son um, and his safety. He, it was his first time shooting a pistol. I'm super proud of him the way he did, the way he handled himself and the weapon, uh, but I was a little more focused on him and his safety at the time. But I did get a chance to go back and review the footage before I'm doing this wrap up here. And it seems like we had a couple light primer strikes, which maybe the weapon, maybe the ammo, you know, I'm sure I don't have to tell you if you do shoot, sometimes that's on the ammo. It's, it's, a, it's a little hard to say. And again, as I mentioned at the time, I didn't think to pick up the rounds and, you know, really inspect them. I was more focused on him. And then we also had a couple failure to feeds. Now, I did a little research on the MC9, and there are a couple things we can do to this pistol that seem to help with that. The fact that we only had an issue with the HSTs, the 40 civil defense rounds went through it smooth as butter, and 250 range rounds went through it without a single hang up. Um, there are a couple things we can do to this pistol that may solve that issue. I'm gonna document it here on the channel, so stay tuned. I'll have a video showing you exactly what I'm gonna do and what I did, and to see if it's effective, um, you know, to kind of help solve those issues that we had. Other than that, I absolutely love this pistol. Um, I do think this is going to be my new EDC. 
Um, it's so compact, lightweight. I can carry this thing all day and not even know it's there. The accuracy was excellent after putting a few through it and, you know, just getting kind of used to the sights on it. I was getting awesome groupings with it. Even, even my son, he's 11 years old, first time ever shooting a pistol. And, you know, his groupings weren't great by any standard, but they were decent for an 11 year old shooting for the first time. So the accuracy is definitely pretty impressive with this MC9. Um, no other issues that we had at the range today. Again, 333, or I'm sorry, 330 rounds through it. So what we're gonna do going forward, I've already placed an order for a whole bunch more ammo. Um, we're gonna try different rounds through it, different uh, defense rounds. We're also gonna try the 147 grain HSTs. As I mentioned, we're not, we're not gonna give up on those HSTs quite yet. They're one of my favorite rounds to carry. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing does, but um, yeah, stay tuned. We, we got some got some content coming up on not only this the MC9 But my other firearms as well. You can also see we have a gel block here uh, to my left um, We're gonna do some ballistic testing with different defense ammo coming out of the MC9 and my other firearms I'm excited for that because that's something I've actually never done. We do have um, we only have one here in front of me uh, But we do have multiple clear gel blocks to kind of really get a good look at what defense ammo uh, does coming out of this MC9 So stay tuned for that if you guys have any questions on this thing, let me know, put them down below. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on that bell. And uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing, you know, not only the truck stuff and the boat stuff, it's springtime, we're gonna be getting on the water, but we're, we're also gonna start doing some firearm videos, um, you know, different things with them. So can't wait to get the red dot on this thing, put some more rounds through it, really get it broken in. And, you know, again, see if those couple modifications we're gonna do will help this out with those HSTs. Questions, comments, or concerns, put them down below, guys. Appreciate you watching, as always, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.